Alyssa from Livia in Rochester. Thank you for joining me on another Wednesday. Um, just a reminder that the total body workout uh, class that I was doing every Wednesday is now a strength class. So this class is focusing more on specific muscle groups and kind of gaining, increasing muscle over time. So progressive um, training, weight training. Um, with the equipment, it's a little bit different than what we were using before. Body weight and light weight will still work, um, but if you have anything heavier you, or to increase resistance, you'll probably want to get that out. I have a lot of different things that I'm going to mix in that I just have around my house. Um, anything that you might have that you've collected over the years, just get it out and you might find some use for it. Um, otherwise, if you're looking to purchase anything, invest in any sort of equipment for your home, um, a sporting goods store will have it like Shields things like that, um, online, Amazon, or anywhere you shop like Walmart or Target, you can usually find something fairly cheap is in like the resistance band area. Um, but some of the other things like weights, dumbbells, are gonna run you a little bit more. So if it's not something you're interested in spending money on, you can always just keep it light or body weight, or if you're using soup cans or water bottles, that will still work. The only thing that I would say is increasing the number of repetitions you're doing or the number of the exercise that you're doing so <clears throat> the um, repetitions that I'm doing here are for more moderate to heavier weight so they're not going to be as many so if you're doing lightweight or body weight just make sure you're bumping those up or doing the workout a couple of times through so you're really working those muscles but um, don't worry about equipment too much if it's something that you want to start getting over time that it's awesome um, just a reminder too that this class is 30 minutes and if you are just starting an exercise program make sure you talk to your doctor before getting started. Take breaks as needed for water to catch your breath. Um, you can pause the video, you can rewind it, whatever you need to do. So today we're doing our lower body. Um, last week we did upper body with our chest and um, shoulders and abdominal muscles. Today is going to be the glutes, which are the um, backside, the quads, which are the quadriceps or the front of the thighs, and the abdominal muscles again. I'm always gonna work in the abdominal muscles just because it's kind of like a cool down portion and just working those muscles is gonna get, help you throughout the day with strength and posture and everything. So pain, even if you have low back pain, strengthening those muscles um, in the core will really help with that. So we're gonna get started with a warm up. 30 seconds each here, starting with jogging in place. Here we go. So the thing with the lower body, they're bigger muscles. So I have a little bit heavier weight than I used last week. Um, just a little bit, because these muscles are bigger. They should be able to lift a little more. They're gonna burn more calories. So we're basically on leg day here, if you've ever heard people talk about leg day. This is what we're doing today. Next we're switching to punches. So three, two, one, plant your feet. We're punching across the body, 30 seconds. This is to loosen up the upper body, this twisting motion here while you're punching across. It's really good to open up the core. Loosen up the spine. It's important to warm up before you're working out just to make sure that everything's ready to go, preventing injuries. Three, two, one, switching to jumping backs. 30 seconds. I always like jumping backs, classic move, easy enough. It gets your heart rate up with that jumping motion, the plyometrics. And that's what we want in our warm up. And three, two, one. Last warm up move is called a skater. So if you've done my workouts before, you know how to do this. This is to loosen up the lower body. We're leaping, you're starting on one side of wherever you're at, leaping across, and then kicking that back, that back leg, or opposite leg back, leaning down into it, like a speed skating position. We've got 30 seconds here. Make sure you have enough room. Because if not, some of you may have seen, it can be kind of loud. Add a 
after this, we're getting into our workout, starting with our glute muscles. Three, two, last one. Awesome. All right. So, what I like to do for glute, gluteus um, workouts here is I like to start with a resistance band and just doing some activator type movements where you're really focusing on that muscle, waking it up. Sometimes our quads try to take over, the front of our thighs try to take over, and it takes away from those muscles working. So activating them, warming them up can be done very effectively with a, a resistance loop. I have two different versions here. This one is like a plasticky, more stretchy, um, very cheap find. This one is a little bit nicer. Got both of them on Amazon, in case you're wondering. I can't recommend any brands, but they have lots of different options for different price range, different, different price ranges and different types. So this one is a little nicer. It's a fabric, stretchy material here. Um, the plastic ones have a tendency to break at times if you use them like, over time. These are a little more sturdy. So if you're looking for a better investment, I would go with the um, fabric ones. So our first glute move is a standing kickback. So I'm going to demonstrate on this far wall here. Hopefully you can see me. Plant your hands. Plant your hands on a steady surface. <clears throat> a very good one here. What we're going to do is kick one leg back. I like to start with my legs on the left side. I've just always done it that way. You can start with whatever side you want. But if you're following along with me, I'm always starting with the left. We're going to do 15 here. So what we're doing is planting our feet, our right foot, leaning up against the wall just a little bit for support. We're kicking this left leg back and we're raising it. And we're doing it's a small movement, which you should be feeling it. So here we go, we've got 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down just do a little toe touch you don't want to plant your whole foot just keep it back a little toe touch on the floor and then raise it again switching sides to the right I'm going to demonstrate on this wall so you can see what it will look like from the back we're doing 15 again on the right side right get a sturdy hold on the wall plant your left foot right toe is back and we're lifting one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Awesome. All right. Next is a standing abductor lift. If you ever hear abductor, ab is moving out from the body. If you're an adductor, doing an adductor. You're moving into the body, you're adding to your body. It's the way to remember. I've always known. So, again, coming up to the wall, getting a sturdy uh, hold here to get your balance. We will start, I'm gonna start on the right just for demonstration purposes. Like I said, I usually start on the left, but I don't wanna be facing away for you, from you on this first one. So, plant the left foot. The foot you're starting on is gonna be out from the wall. Lift it just a little bit so that it's not touching, and then we're raising to the side. That's one. We're doing 15 on each side. These are a little tougher. Um, if you don't have the loops, that's totally fine body weight. You should still be feeling it. But really focus on that back side. Here we go, 15. One, two, three, four. Notice I have my toe pointing in. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, switching sides. Raise that left leg up just a bit. Point the toe in, and we got 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15. Perfect, okay. Now we have donkey kicks they're known. Also like a quadra, head, lift, however you wanna term it. What we're doing is keeping the band above the knee, if you're using, otherwise if not, body weight is just fine. Coming down on our hands and knees, we'll start with the left, so I'm gonna face this way. Again, I usually start with the left, so you can start with whatever you want. I would just keep it to the same side, starting first, which I did not demonstrate in our last one, but here we go. So donkey kick, we're on our hands and knees. We're starting with the left, so we're gonna keep our right knee planted, keep our hands planted, lifting this left leg up with the knee bent, just like this, and then we're raising our heel towards the sky. That would be one. It's a small movement, but you're gonna feel it. So we have 15 on each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Switch sides. I'm gonna turn around. Here we go, 15 on the right. One, two, three, four. Kicking that heel up to the ceiling. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Awesome, all right, you can stay down on the mat. This time we're doing fire hydrants. Maybe you'll understand why they're called that when you see the movement. I just think of a dog around a fire hydrant. Silly as that is. Um, we'll start with the left. So we're planting hands and knees once again, just like how we were with our donkey kicks. But instead of kicking our leg back, we're, kicking, we're keeping the knee bent, we're kicking it out to the side. I'm gonna show you from an angle here what it would look like. One, just like so. So, keeping the knee bent, kicking it out to the side. You feel it right up here, top and the side of your glutes, the side of your bottom. Here we go, we've got 15 on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Awesome. All right. Moving on, we're gonna add in a little more weight here. So we're gonna do some bigger movements for our bottom, using more than just this loop. That's what you were doing. Um, so you can grab a weight, a dumbbell, um, a kettlebell works fine, a medicine ball, whatever you have. Um, you can use a band if you have a larger one. So this first move is called a good morning. So I'll demonstrate with this band first. If you have a large band, you know what this would look like. You want the resistance of up and around your neck, excuse me. So the top of your back, you know, is where you're loading the weight. So you're standing, feet just over hip width apart, just slightly over. What we do is bend at the hips, Keeping the back straight, neck is neutral, and then we come up. And you should be pulling through your backside, maybe even the back of your legs, the hamstrings. So we're gonna do 20 here. I'm gonna demonstrate a few with this band, and then I'm gonna show you what it would look like if you're just using a dumbbell or a weight. So here we go. One. Really squeeze the bottom as you come up. Two. That's the key. Three, four, five. I'm gonna switch my weights so you can keep going. 
going to 20. This is kind of a sandbag type of thing here. If you have something like this or something you're interested in, they're kind of nice for, especially for these movements. So same, I'm gonna to turn to an angle here. Same position, I'm just using my, a different weight. I still have it loaded in the same spot. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna try something else here. Those of you at home, if you're using dumbbells, same thing. Just put it behind the back. Hold, get a good grip on it. Same standing position. Same movement. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15. If you're not using any resistance, just put your hands behind your head just like a sit up like you do when you're doing a crunch. Top of the back, holding it with your hands, just like so. If you're not using weight, just put the arms up like so. Same movement, standing positions, feet are just over hip width apart, bending at the waist, or bending at the hips, shooting up, squeezing in. So that's one, we've got 20. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway there, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, and we're back down, 20. Loop bridges, I'm gonna use the same 
resistance here. Show you what this looks like. Same thing, resting the weight on the hips. If you're doing body weight or a loop, the loop would go above your knees. If you're doing body weight, it's just the same position, just no weight. You can put your hands down to your side. Here we go, so we've got 20. One. Remember, don't drop all the way down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Weight should be in your heels. I'm pushing through. Eight, nine. I could raise my toes, and I'm still doing the same movement. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20. That's it for the glutes. So I hope you felt that one. Now, having activated those first, when we move into our quads, which is where we're heading next, front of the thighs, this is going to help to work those glute muscles while we're doing these quadriceps exercises as well. So you're still working those, but we're also focusing on the quads here from the thighs. So our first move for our quads is a low step. I happen to have a step. I'm going to put mine since I have a hard surface, and I don't want to slide around and put it on my mat. Um, if you don't have a step, you could use a chair, it might be a little too high for this. If you're doing a high step, if that's all you have, or even if you just have a, you have a flight of stairs, you can go to one, one or two steps, however high you want it to be, and do the movement there. If you're doing a higher step, like a chair, just get rid of the weight for now, and just focus on the step. But I'm doing a low step, I happen to have a step, if you have one that's perfect. What I'm gonna do is grab a weight, a dumbbell for each hand. If you're not using weight, that's fine. If you're using any other type of resistance, that's fine. You can also load it on your back like you had for, this, for the good mornings. Um, but otherwise, down at your side is fine. So we've got 15 on each side. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna do this two times through. So this is our first set for our quadriceps. Starting with a low step. So I'm going to start with my left. We've got 15. So all I'm doing is stepping up and back down. Two. Back down. Three. Back down. Really squeezing through as you come up. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Almost back into a one. Same way you just did. 
You're basically doing the same thing, just without the step, but it's kind of the same movement. So here we go, we've got 12 on each side. One, the leg you're not using is gonna be up on the step. The leg you're working is straight down, bending at the knee. Knees shouldn't go over the toes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Next we've got a side lunge. So I'll demonstrate with a kettlebell. You can get rid of the step. You guys, I want you to do this whole thing that we're doing here twice through, but for time's sake here, demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do it for, I'm gonna do it one time through. So a side lunge, whatever side you're starting with, so the left, you want to load the weight on that side up high. Starting off to one side. We're stepping out and our, we're kicking, we're sitting our booty back. So as you step out, your bottom should go back like you're sitting in a chair. So this is kind of a tough movement. I would recommend starting with no weight and just getting the form down. You don't want your knee to go in like this. You don't want to be like this. It's a very focused movement. Here we've got one, we're doing 10. On each side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. All right, last for our quadriceps, we have a jump squat. I'm getting rid of the weight. If you want to use weight, you're just holding it like so the center of your body. No weight, like some of us need right now. We've got 10. So what we're doing is, you come down just doing a normal squat, and as you come up, you're jumping up. So we've got 10. This is those plyometric moves, the jumping moves are really good for you. So here we go, starting position, feet hip width apart, sitting back into a squat, jumping up, that's one. Back down, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. If the jumping is too much, just come up on your toes. Eight, nine, just like this. Ten, we can work to it. So ten of those. Now, you guys will repeat that for your quadriceps. Do that one more time through at least. If you're doing really lightweight, maybe you want to do it twice, two more times. Um, otherwise, we are moving on to our abdominal muscles. I'm really pushing the limit here at the time. So I'm just gonna demonstrate what this will look like. We wanna do leg raises. It's a little circuit you're gonna do one time through. So leg raises, coming up and back down without touching. That's one, two, three, four, Five, six, I'm gonna go to 10. I want you guys to keep going. Eight, nine to 15, 10. Like I said, I'm really pushing our time here, so I, don't, I wanna get you guys moving. Next, when you get to 15, we're gonna do 15 each of these flutter kicks, so it's the same position. 
Raising the legs and you're kicking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. Lastly, we have a bird dog. So you're coming up, hands and knees, and then we're doing an opposite arm raise with the opposite leg. So raising my right arm, my left leg at the same time, keeping my body straight. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to 20, six, I'm gonna go to 10, seven, eight, nine, 10. Awesome. Once you're done with those, you can do that a couple times too if you'd like. I kind of do the abdominal workouts as sort of a cool down because your heart rate's gonna start going down. Um, do that a couple times too if you'd like. Otherwise, <clears throat> that's it. Um, some stretching, light stretching to cool you down is always recommended, really stretching out the quadriceps and the, the front of the thighs for sure today. If you wanna get a good glute stretch, coming down into the butterfly position, leaning forward as far as you can. You're gonna feel that in your inner thighs and also the back. Another good one for your bottom is coming down to the mat. Kicking one ankle over the knee, pulling it in, and you'll feel it on this foot right here. You'll feel it right on the back, or you'll feel it on that leg, back of that leg, and into your glutes. And switch sides there. If you're looking for a good quadricep stretch, um, brace yourself on the wall for support, or shoot your arm out as a counterweight, and you're just like so, kicking that leg back, foot can go right into the glute, but keeping your body in a straight line. Hold that, you're gonna feel a stretch right along the front. Other side, and then I'm gonna close it out, you guys. I'm, I'm really pushing the time and I apologize, but I wanna make sure, form is really important in these strength exercises, so I really try to focus on developing the form. So. As we go along, we'll start getting into a good groove. But again, thank you for joining me. Um, we have videos posted every Monday through Friday. If you have any questions, send those to fitnessatlivia.com. And have a great day. Thanks.